Do we really use only 10% of our brain? If I told you that 90% of your brain is doing absolutely nothing right now, would you believe me? Well, that's exactly what thousands of people, including some of the smartest, have believed for over a century. But here's the twist. It's completely false. Stick around. Because what we are about to uncover will change how you see your brain forever. In 1907, a psychologist named William James was misquoted in a way that would haunt science for decades. The quote, We only use 10% of our mental potential. Now that sounds intriguing, right? Maybe even hopeful. The idea that there's a hidden genius inside all of us just waiting to be unlocked. But what if I told you that belief is actually hurting your potential, not helping it? Let's go back to a story you might recognize. Lucy, the Scarlett Johansson movie, used this idea as its entire premise. She unlocks the remaining 90% of her brain and gains telekinesis. Super speed basically turns into a superhero. And people thought, hey, what if we could do that? But here's what neuroscience actually tells us. When scientists scan brains using fMRI, those colorful maps that show what lights up when we think, guess what? Even doing something as simple as drinking, water activates way more than 10% of your brain. In fact, over the course of a day, virtually every region gets used. So where did the 10% idea come from? A misunderstanding. William James never said 10% of the brain. He said, we only meet a fraction of our mental potential. Totally different thing. Here's why this myth is dangerous. Because it makes you think you're limited. That you're somehow locked out of your own power. That to become extraordinary, you need to unlock some secret brain chamber. But what if your brain is already doing everything it can? And what you need isn't access, but action. So, do we only use 10% of our brain? Crossmark, no. We use 100%, just not all at once. And not all consciously. But it's all working, coordinating movement. Memory, emotion, focus, and so much more. This myth lives on because it's catchy. But it dies here, because you know better now. If you've ever believed the 10% myth, 